director for Uta Formula Motorsports and I'm super excited to show you guys our new car um, for T32. It's been over 32 years of designing, manufacturing, and engineering a car to compete and we're really excited to be taking our car to the competition in Las Vegas in about two weeks. We just want to highlight all the hard work that our team has put in and big thank you to all of our sponsors, mentors, and alums that have guided us and helped make this happen. My name is Cedric Kong. I'm this year's electrical director. My responsibilities on the team include overseeing the electronics, firmware, and e-train team and making sure they finish all of their projects um, before competition this summer. The main emphasis for this year's team was to improve reliability as well as consistency. So this year we switched to 
uh, a new inverter package as well as all of the uh, wiring around it. So as everyone knows, this year is a pretty unexpected year. Uh, in terms of our team, we had this regular 60 member size, except for we had to shrink down our capacity to be nine person at all times and start our, inside our physical workspace. That proposed a lot of challenges, both from an administrative perspective, as well as technical design work, since a lot of projects require multiple people working on it at the same time. So I think this year, a lot of our challenges became figuring out how we could onboard a really young team, just as good as any other year, while also making sure that we were able to finish the car with the re reduced number of people. And so we really approached that problem by figuring out ways that we could work collaboratively online, as well as figuring out how to really fine tune our onboarding process for new members. So they quickly got up to pace with design projects and design concepts. This is my fourth year on the team and I joined my sophomore year. I think what initially attracted me to the team was through a friend that I, that I knew at the time that was on the team. But what really made me stay and want to continue working through the team for these four years is just how strong the community is, as well as the challenge of you know, designing a car every year. I think coming from a sports background, I really enjoy the team collaborative challenge. And so I think that the annual process and annual challenge of designing, building, and competing is something that I really fell in love with. I didn't really do motorsports or really, were, I wasn't really into racing beforehand, but just being able to work on the car and seeing something that you designed make it and make it into the car and be part of you know, the success that competition is a really invigorating process. Hi, I'm Monica and I'm the manufacturing lead for UW Formula Motorsports. The manufacturing team supports other tech teams by producing a variety of high quality metal parts using different processes such as milling, turning, welding, water jetting, and sheet metal fabrication. Producing high quality custom parts serves the team by allowing us to reduce the weight, overall weight of the vehicle and increase speed. It also serves as a pipeline for new members, giving them experience with manufacturing and designing for manufacturing, while also exposing them to other sub-teams and their roles. The manufacturing team produces a lot of the small parts, such as brackets or custom pins for our batteries, as well as some custom coolant ports and other things of that nature. Hey, my name is Owen. I'm the suspension lead for the T32 Formula Motorsport team. So personally, I worked on the control arms, uh, but suspension covers everything between the ground and the chassis. So tires, wheel shells, bumps, uprights, control arms, dampers, braking, and steering. We knew t next year would be a really taxing design year, and so we put a lot of effort into validating all of our assumptions and getting good data from this year's car so that we know what we're building off of for next year. Yeah, because we had a ton of new members and because we didn't have a ton of design work to do this year, we put a lot of effort into learning the theory of suspension design super, super in-depth so we can hit the ground running next year um, and design a super robust suspension package. Hey, I'm Max. I'm the drivetrain lead at UW Formula. Uh, drivetrain is responsible for everything in between the motors and the wheels. And for us, that means gearboxes, drive shafts, and CV joints. Uh, we've got an example here of the type of gearbox that's on this year's car. It's a single stage planetary gearbox. That's an old one. But that's what we've made and installed on the car. In tandem, we've been developing an in-hub gearbox. So we're going to be switching from a two-wheel drive car with two of these to a four-wheel drive car with a gearbox inside each hub. And the wheel attaches here. So the gearbox will actually be inside there. And there will be a motor back here. Uh, we've been developing and prototyping that over the last year. And this is an example of a 3D printed topology optimized upright. So the gears will live inside of there. And then we'll have a motor and the wheel over here. Uh, 
So this year we've got two wheel drive. Next year we're going to four wheel drive with an AMK motor at each corner. So right now we're in the middle of manufacturing our in-hub gearbox prototype. And when that's finished in the next three weeks or so and tested, we should have the confidence to make four more of them and put them on the car next year. Hi, I'm Prashra Mahapatra. I'm the electronics lead for this year. Our main projects are responsible for data collection and power management in the car. Um, some of these projects include um, the DC-DC converter that um, converts high voltage to around 24 volts, which is then sent to the power distribution unit, uh, which powers all the low voltage electronics in the car. Our data acquisition system consists for, of sensors from different teams like Aero and E-Train, um, and we interface with these sensors using our redesigned analog to digital analog to CAN converter and telemetry systems which allow for wireless data transfer. Um, this allows us to provide um, real-time data during a drive and also uh, logs data for post-processing. We're grateful to have sponsors like Altium who allow us to uh, design schematics and board layouts from the ground up um, and custom circuit boards who manufacture high quality boards for us. I've been part of this team for around two years now um, and this team has, uh, has provided me with a great opportunity to learn how to design printed circuit boards um, from the ground up and I think that's what makes our team really special. We actually put in a lot of time learning and designing our own circuits to make this car run as smoothly as possible. Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm the E-Train lead here at U Washington Formula Motorsports. E-Train is a mechanical team with electrical elements and we are responsible for the entirety of the tractive pack, from the batteries all the way to the motors. And this year our goal is to make the most reliable as well as serviceable system. One of the biggest components of E-Train is the accumulator which is our high voltage battery within a carbon fiber enclosure. We design and manufacture almost every single part of our accumulator, from the aluminum bus bars inside our cell stack, all the way to the wire harnesses in the top box. And this year we worked on making more reliable cell connections as well as fusing. The next biggest part of E-Train are the inverters, which convert DC to three-phase AC for our motors. This year we're using different inverters and are working on waterproofing as well as reliability. The next part of the tractive's path are the motors. We run a dual rear motors and we chose the MRX 188s due to their high power to weight ratio. This is my third year on the team and I have to say that my favorite part of being on this team is how everybody works so hard and put in the late nights to achieve a common goal of putting the greatest and fastest car down on the ground. Hi, I'm Leanne. Um, I've taken over T32's from our lead position and I'll be T32 from our lead as well. Um, so personally, I've been fortunate enough to be involved with our steering board, so kind of adding driver functionality. So kind of if you think like of an F1 car, you have all these buttons and all these different commands to control the car itself. That board is what controls all of that on our car. I've also been fortunate to be involved with our, um, our IMU, or our inertial measurement unit, which feeds data into our TCTV. So it allows kind of us to control the speeds that we're giving our motors and our wheels and to give a better driving car. On one hand, you would think firmware. It's something you can do remote, right? It's something you can kind of like, you push your code to like a cloud server and collaborate. But in reality, we're working there kind of with PCBs and being able to debug them and the hardware themselves. And so it's kind of a process that requires you to be in person. So realistically, firmware's had to come in almost the most out of all these teams on the team. And it's been an interesting experience getting everyone in here, getting our firmware family all into the pit and making boards happen. So going forward with our four-wheel drive car next year, we're going to need an entirely new traction control and torque vectoring model. So with four-wheel drive comes a whole new set of challenges, a whole new model for how we model the vehicle dynamics, different data we're going to have coming in and out. And so um, our TTV model, which is what controls all that, is going to have to change. We're also looking into load balancing. So can we charge our, our accumulator, our cell stack, to full voltage itself? Because it's kind of an imprecise science, so we're working on allowing all these cells to come up to the same level, and so it's something called passive balancing, and that's going to be a focus going into the next year. Just firmware itself, it's you take this car, but there's been so much work put into it, and all these components that are like honed down to exact thousands of an inch, 
And we get to take the technology that sits on top of all that and controls all of it. And so I'm really excited to get to see this car drive, to see us go down to comp, go really fast, all due to the stuff that we're doing on these PCBs with our bits and bytes and controlling the car's data across the CAN bus and all the different components. Hey, my name is Ben and I'm the chassis lead for the UW Formula Motorsports team. The chassis team is in charge of the structures and the ergonomics of the car. We designed the monocoque, the impact attenuator, the roll hoop, steering, steering wheel and the seat. And this year we have a brand new chassis and we're excited to show it to you. I like how we take on big projects and somehow at the time it seems very difficult but somehow we get it done at the end of the day. Um, I designed the T31, T32 monocoque. That was the hardest project I've ever worked on. Um, I've spent too many hours sanding and nailing at SolidWorks but it's here now and I'm proud of it. This is my last year on the team. It's my third year and the thing I've missed the most is the late night chassis manufacturing or putting the car back together late at night. Hi, my name is James and I am the director of mechanical systems. My primary function on the team is to organize a group of uh, lead engineers who oversee all of the technical projects on the team pertaining to the chassis, suspension, aerodynamics, uh, and parts of the powertrain. And this is my fourth year on the team. It's been sort of a, a long time coming and this year has definitely given us challenges that I don't think I would have ever expected in my life, but um, I think we're all a lot better for it, and this car is going to kick some major ass in Vegas. Yeah, so because it's a race car, we try and package everything as tightly as possible, but uh, I think inadvertently in the process we made things maybe a little too close together, or a little too close for comfort, and so I think while it wasn't really during the design section, it was more when we were making and trying to actually get a car that runs, we had to come up with some pretty clever, pretty on the fly solutions that um, were essential to just make the car work. And while they're not maybe the most flashy, I am pretty proud of how it turned out. We're going to win almost every dynamic event, except maybe efficiency, but otherwise this car is definitely fast enough to win autocross, skid pad, excel, and most importantly, endurance. It was definitely working with the people. I think that's like, I don't know, maybe these two other people said that, but um, I think this year really pushed everyone to their limit, but it was um, just like a huge pleasure to have new people join the team still, despite everything that was going on, and um, really see people grow a lot I think it was an opportunity to learn really quickly for a lot of people and become very responsible for a large portion of the project, even though they might not have had the formal experience. And yeah, I think that's kind of like priceless, like something you won't find at any professional company or really at any other opportunity in college. Yeah, it's kind of a weird one, but when we were at competition two years ago, um, we I remember we were listening to the top five electric teams being announced and they start from fifth and then they go to the first team overall and I remember right around the time they said the fourth team and it wasn't us I was like maybe we didn't win this time or maybe we didn't do so good maybe we didn't even make top five um, and they called second as the University of Washington from Seattle and I definitely started crying and had to like pretend like I wasn't because we had to get on stage. Um, and I just remember looking over and our tech director that year was completely asleep and laying on the asphalt. So I think that pretty much sums up formula in like probably less than five seconds of 